Hello friends, welcome to our channel Mechanical Motivator. In this video, we are going to see a problem on section of solid. It's coming under unit 4 in engineering graphics. The topic is section of a cylinder. Initially, I will be explaining the question. Then I will explain how to write the given data. And later on, I will be explaining how to draw the diagram step by step. So just follow the instructions so that it will be very easy for you to understand the concept as well as to draw the diagram. A cylinder of base diameter 40 mm. So cylinder means what kind of solid we are going to draw? Cylinder is the solid. So cylinder means base diagram will be a circle. Okay. The circle will be having a diameter 40 mm. So cylinder radius of the circle is 40. Sorry, diameter of the circle is 40 mm. And height of the cylinder. So height will be 50 mm. Rest on its base. So it's clearly given that it's resting on its base. So resting will be on HP. It is cut by a plane perpendicular to VP and inclined to 50 degree to HP. So we are going to give preferences for cutting plane. The cutting plane is at an angle of 50 degree with respect to HP. The cutting plane meet the axis at a distance of 15 mm from the top. So from the top, the cutting plane meet the axis at 15 mm. So regarding the cutting plane, I will uh, separately tell in detail. So they are asking us to find the, I mean, draw the sectional top view through shape of the section. So as uh, previously we have uploaded almost 5 videos in section of solid. So if you haven't watched means kindly watch those videos so that it will be having a better understanding. So let us go in. So this is the way how we have to, uh, from the question how we need to write the given data. And later on I will be explaining how to draw the diagram step by step. So first to surface we need to draw the reference line. Draw the reference line and write x, y, v, p, h, p. Always for section of solid, draw the diagram in portrait. Don't draw the diagram in landscape. Because our solution will be coming here itself. We won't go this part at all. So it's better to draw the diagram in portrait. And uh, our base diagram is a circle. Okay, we need to draw the circle of diameter 40. So take a radius of 20. Take a, take a compass. Take radius as 20. Keep this as center. Draw the circle. Okay. So after that you have to divide the circle into 8 equal parts. So 8 equal parts means uh, 45 degree each. So take 45, 45, 45 and draw the circle and divide the circle into 8 equal parts. So if this is the cylinder means, if this is the cylinder means, top portion will be A, B, C, D and bottom portion will be P, Q, R, S. So in section of solid, don't use 1, 2, 3 for naming the front view or top view because uh, for cutting plane, we will be keeping the name as 1, 2, 3 so that uh, we don't get confused. Okay. So for drawing front view or top view, uh, try to avoid using numericals. Okay, so top surface, this is the top portion will be A, B, C, D and bottom will be P, Q, R, S. So when you see from top, you can see A, B, C, D only. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Bottom is P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W. And you have to dimension the radius of the, sorry, diameter of the circle is 40. So 5, 40. Uh, these are the extension line. So regarding this, I will tell at the end. Now we will start, now we are going to extend. So whatever we drawn here, see. Whatever we drawn here, this is the top view. So by extending the top view points, we can get the front view of the cylinder. The next step is we are going to draw the front view. So by extending the top views, we can draw the front view. These things we know. So from this point, if you extend, you can get a point here. From H point, mean you can if you keep your scale, you can just get this point. If you keep your scale, you can get a point in the reference line. If you keep a scale here vertically, you can get this point. If you keep a scale E, you can get the T dash point. So now we got all the points right. So from the axis, draw a line for 50 mm. So axis height is 50 mm. So what we need to do is we need to draw a line for 50 mm and then just put the box. As we know very well, the top surface is a alphabet that is ABCD and bottom surface is PQRS. So when you see from here, when you see from here, you can see A. So A dash, you can see B, you can't see H. So B dash bracket dash dash. You can see C, you can't see G. So C dash bracket G dash. You can see D, you can't see F. So D dash bracket F dash. You can see E, so E dash. So from when you see from here, you can see P. So P dash. You can see Q, but you can't see W. So Q dash bracket W dash. You can see R, but you can't see B. So R dash bracket B dash. You can see Yes, but you can't see U. So S dash bracket U dash. You can see T, so T dash. Now, right now, what we have done is we have just drawn the front view on top view of the cylinder. Now I will explain how to draw the cutting plane. So regarding the cutting plane, what they said is the cutting plane is uh, meeting the axis 15 mm from the top. So this is the top main. From here, for 15 mm, you keep a dot. Okay, from here, for a 15 mm, you just keep a dot. And then you have to draw a horizontal line like this. You have to draw a horizontal line like this. 
and you have to keep your protector and for an angle of 50 degree 50 degree with respect to hp right so keep your protector here for an angle of 50 degree you need to draw a line and try to accelerate backwards okay so from this point draw a horizontal line keep your protector here uh, for an angle of 50 degree 50 degree you just draw a line try to accelerate reverse leave one name gap and try to extend and here also you have to, since i wrote the uh, naming i just uh, extended you have to leave one name and gap and try to extend it up so dimensioning here i didn't dimension since i don't have space so we can dimension here also try to extend the cutting plane further so draw a horizontal line and uh, mark a dimension as 50 degree okay here you need to mark a dimension 15 de 15 mm so this is the way regarding the cutting point see here here one cutting point will be that that is b dash to um yeah b dash to c dash then here 2 dash c dash between c dash and r dash one cutting point 2 dash 3 dash is between d dash and s dash 4 dash is between e dash and t dash 5 dash is between f dash and u dash 6 dash is between g dash and b dash and 7 dash is between h dash and g dash so here we get two cutting points here two cutting points here two cutting points and here only one cutting point since e dash and t dash alone is there so this is the way you need to write the cutting points see how i am writing 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash 6 dash 7 dash so this, this is the way you need to write the cutting points then what we need to do we need to extend the cutting points uh, vertically downwards so that we can get the sectional top view next thing is as i said before we just going to extend all the cutting points vertically see identify the cutting points is one dash is between b dash and c dash try to extend this cutting point downwards so that it should that it should cut b and c okay here only we are having b and c right b and c we are having here uh, okay fine so it has to cut here and 7 dash is between h dash and D, g dash so between h and g we will be getting 7 point 2 dash is between c dash and r dash so c and r here so 2 point 3 dash is between d and s so d and s 3 4 5 6 so remaining points we have to keep as it is now just connect all the points 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 5 to 6 6 to 7 and 7 to 1 so that we will be getting the sectional top view see once we have cut the cylinder this way means whatever we are getting that is called the uh, remaining portion this portion will be cut off and remaining only we will be having and we can darken it also see i will darken with the help of uh, which one can i use yeah i will use this one See here, I will dark, I am darkening this one. So this is the, this is the portion which we will be having, okay. Uh, once, we, once we cut means this is the portion which we will be having, this portion will be removed off. So when you see from top, when you see from top, whatever sectional top view we can see, we can get here. That's what we did here. This is the sectional top view. Just uh, do hatching. This part is called hatching. How to do hatching is, see hatching should be done with 45 degree. You can draw a line and for a direction you can draw this line this angle will be 45 45 degree okay 45 degree so you have to try to draw all the lines parallel to it okay keep this line as reference and try to draw all the lines parallel you can draw anywhere even you can draw here also okay after that after drawing you just rub it off okay this is for your reference so this is the way we need to hash hatching is angle is 45 degree and it should have equal spacing see it should have equal spacing and should look unique so angle 45 degree and equal spacing should be there for hatching. The next step is try to draw a new reference line. This is called the new reference line x1, y1. So you have to draw this reference line parallel to the cutting plane. See first initially we have this reference line. This is a new reference line. This reference line should be drawn parallel to the cutting plane. Keep in your mind and the distance alone doesn't matter. It should be drawn away from the front view. So here we are completing front view means just draw somewhat away from a front view and uh, length of the reference line is also not doesn't matter it's your own which try to draw it in such a way that it has to be uh, longer than the cutting plane so it has to be longer than these points then what you need to do you have to take your uh, protector and for you have to keep at this uh, one dash point try to draw vertical perpendicular line or also you can use the l-shape scale also keep l-shape scale draw perpendicular lines for one dash two dash three dash and four dash these lines should be drawn perpendicular 90 degree with respect to cutting plane. 
and then later on what you need to do is you have to measure you have to measure uh, take your compass and measure here and try to place your uh, sectional top view so that you will be getting the true shape of the section okay next we are going to draw the true shape of the section take your compass from the reference axis from q dash measure 7 so whatever distance you are having the same distance you will be having and try to cut an arc from reference axis how much the distance from 1 from reference axis cut an arc so 7 and 7 1 and 1 1 point we got next is uh, try to keep your compass in reference axis measure till 6 so from reference axis cut an arc from reference axis measure 2 from here cut another point so likewise you have to measure each and every point here and with respect to new reference line you will be marking uh, 4 and 3 and 5 will sell uh, just see here you have to measure from uh, S dash till 5 so same you have to keep cut an arc from S dash to 3 for same you have to cut an arc from T dash to 4 whatever distance you are having from this point try to cut an arc so that you will be getting 4 1 so 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 5 1 6 1 7 1 you got you just all connect all the points so this is the true shape of the section we need to do hatching how to do hatching is see if you can uh, draw your line and with respect to this line with respect to this line you can draw keep on drawing the line for 45 degree and angle will be 45 degree for hatching the angle is 45 degree and you have to do equal spacing you have to leave equal spacing and uh, you have to draw this in uh, HP pencil and you have to draw this section of top in HP pencil you have to draw after cutting it you have to darken it with your HP pencil numbering and naming and alphabetical HP pencil these are the extension line extension line should be 2 H pencil dimensioning line should be in H pencil and 50, 50 degree and all should be with your HP pencil and height of the text here section of cylinder should be 10 mm so this height of the x is 10 mm and below we will be having two lines all dimensions are in your scale only is one it should be in uh, 5 mm the height of the text is 5 mm i hope so this video will be very much clear in case if you have any doubt means you can type in the comment section so that we will clarify all your doubts if you want me to particularly upload a video on a topic means you can type the topic in the comment section or also you can also type the problem also in comment section so that we will be seeing the problem or topic and then we will upload the whatever thing you are asking so that it will be very much helpful for you do subscribe our channel mechanical motivator and stay tuned to the channel we will be bringing all engineering graphics video in all the units to your doorstep it will be very much helpful during your examination preparation if you feel this video is useful means kindly share the video to all first year students stay tuned with our channel we also have other playlists to kindly have a check of other playlists thanks for watching this video have a great day